Cool new Audi A5 meets curvy Mercedes C-Class Coupe in a battle of the compact executive diesel two-doors. The latest to join the ranks is the two-door Audi A5 Coupe. It takes tech first seen on the A4 saloon last year and adds even more style and sophistication to the saloon's quality feel and low running costs. The A5 promises to appeal to your heart and your fleet manager. However, Audi's arch rival Mercedes has already done the same to great effect with its C-Class Coupe. This car serves up a beautifully built cabin, svelte coupe styling and, in the popular C250D model we test here a diesel engine that blends strong efficiency with plenty of performance. So the A5 2.0 TDI has its work cut out. Audi A5 Audi's evolutionary approach to design means you'd be excused for blinking and missing the changes in the transformation from the previous generation A5 to this all-new coupe. Yet it genuinely is all new, because the chassis has been adapted from the clever new MLB Evo mechanicals that underpin the A4. The big difference between this and the MQB platform that forms the basis of the A3 is that the MLB tech can take longitudinally mounted engines. In our A5 test model, the 2.0-liter diesel engine drives the front wheels, which is one of the main differences between the newcomer and the rear-wheel drive C-Class coupe hits up against. It's a 187bhp unit hooked up to Audi's 7-speed S-Tronic dual clutch box. And it's a known quantity shared with other modules in Audi's lineup, so it pulls well, and with 400 newton meters of torque it offers plenty of in-gear performance. At the track the car covered 50 to 70 miles per hour in 6th and 9.9 seconds, despite tall gearing, it wouldn't do the same sprint in 7th, compared with the 9-speed Mercedes. Left to its own devices the gearbox also shifts up earlier in comfort, helping efficiency. Changes are fast and smooth, while the dual-clutch transmission's launch control meant the A5 sprinted from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.5 seconds. The 12.3-inch widescreen display shows the sat-nav straight in front of you, making it easier to follow the route guidance, while you can also change the radio station and look at the car's efficiency data through the different menus. It's a high-tech feature that fits well with the A5's well-crafted cabin. Build quality is brilliant throughout, with a simple but smart layout to the center console adding to the premium feel. Mercedes C-Class Coupe The C-Class Coupe is a strong all-rounder, which makes it the car the A5 has to beat. It's based on the same platform as Mercedes' four-door C-Class, but the two-door has a more distinct personality, whereas the A5 definitely feels like a derivative of the A4 saloon. From behind the wheel the Mercedes isn't quite as sharp as the Audi, but the rear-drive chassis offers more balance. It's just a shame the rest of the experience doesn't live up to the looks. In Sport or Sport Plus driving modes, the C-Class's steering feels heavy and lifeless. While there isn't much feedback relayed through the Audi's wheel, its lighter steering weight and immediacy makes it feel more transparent. Even after only a few miles in the driver's seat, it's clear the C-Class Coupe isn't as sporty or precise as the A5. Instead, the focus is definitely on comfort, as the Mercedes rides nicely. Engineers have scaled down what makes the S-Class flagship so comfortable, but while it's cosseting most of the time, the C-Class isn't perfect. Even though our test car had the 895 pounds Airmatic Dynamic Handling Package, featuring air suspension, the setup still transmits some harsher knocks through to the cabin. This is only under more extreme conditions on broken roads, as the Mercedes still floats over most surfaces with a more settled gait than the Audi. It's more relaxing to drive as a result, but with the C250D's higher powered 2.1 liter diesel under the bonnet, the car delivers a decent turn of speed. There's 201 bhp and 500 newton meters of torque. 14 bhp and 100 newton meters up on the Audi, so even though the C-Class is chunkier, weighing 1,645 kilograms, it was 7 tenths faster from 0 to 60 miles per hour, using its extra gears to complete the benchmark sprint in 6.8 seconds. In-gear performance was also impressive, thanks to the shorter ratios and extra punch from its engine compared with the Audi's, 
the C-Class delivers its maximum torque low down from just 1,600 revolutions per minute, so there's not much lag to contend with.